Yeah. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. We got Ronnie 2K in the building. Yes, the illustrious Ronnie 2K. It's time for him to answer a lot of questions that you Twitter followers have. The all the madness, the shenanigans you guys post. He's here to answer them. So, first question, Ronnie, what do you do for 2K? What do I do for 2K? Um, I am in marketing. I am uh, basically the uh, social media face of the game. I, uh, I'm at every single event. I work with our celebs and athletes. I, you know, to everybody's surprise, I do not develop the game. I have nothing to do with development servers or anything like that. I, uh, I just have a passion for the NBA. I'm just a fan that actually just happens to work here. It's, uh, that's my gig. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was probably the only question you guys have. This interview is okay. Well, I'm just playing. This interview is not <laughs> over. Now, nah, Ronnie, a lot of people wants to know what can they expect from 2K16? Can they expect a better year, a better turnout, a better social media presence than NBA 2K15? Uh, I'm super excited about 2K16. Uh, obviously, you know, marketing-wise, it's going to be great. But game-wise, I mean, we, we're going to bring the whole package. This is now our third year on Next Gen, um, so. You know, rounding out a lot of the things that we've really been excited about, but have needed a little bit of work uh, with the next gen stuff. Um, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be epic. Like I really really believe it's. I think there's a you know like the pre order bonus is a really good telling sign of us being extremely confident with what's coming. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm I'm really excited. I think the community is gonna be very very excited. But our usual cycle, you know how it is. We don't really stray from it very much. We don't. We start talking about stuff like very very heavily in uh, you know July, late July, August, September. Um, that's when you know everybody starts thinking about our game very heavily, and then we just we we just slap you over the face over and over every single day with with new news. It's coming, and it's going to be great this year. All right, now. Of course, we already know Rad from 2K TV went into the devs' offices and asked them about everything besides my part. Okay. Is there anything you can give the fans insight on? Will we be getting anything soon for my, news my on part? my part? Uh, my part, we're probably looking at September. I mean, it's it's become our most mass feature. Uh, like, the, the amount of games that are played every single week is crazy. The one thing that I'll say is, it's been a struggle like trying like this time of year people have stopped not stopped playing the part but it's definitely subsiding a little bit and a lot of that's because you know they're thinking about other modes my team what, what have you um we got to figure out a way from our side how we can get people to play park year round and like make it exciting enough and there's a lot of ways that we're thinking about it so i mean i don't want to unveil the entire oyster but well, we're we're thinking about how to you know do more events we had the my park championship this year things like that things of that nature uh, you know the world's our oyster with that thing it, it, in year two it was amazing and I, I just can't wait for year three okay i got two more questions for you i'm not going to ask anything about my team because we know what not, my team is going to bring to the table constant challenges yeah. constant packs constant cards and more pink diamonds maybe maybe pink diamonds maybe something else listen i get I get that pink diamonds are popular with some and not popular with others, um, and the way that we distribute them. But we're working within a system that you know exists and has existed. If I started changing the system nine months after launch, it'd be difficult. Like all of a sudden, the people that did all this work would like you know be SOL, right? So uh, uh, we have to do it year over year and figure out that system. I, I, I can tell you that what we're thinking about is taking so much community feedback. Um, a lot of people are going to be really happy with what we've thought about, and it'll allow me to continue to stay topical, right? Like, if a guy has a great game, can we do something more? Can we, you know, like, new content based on something more? That's the kind of things, that's how our brain brains are working. Now, uh, last two questions. The first one is about association. Yeah. A lot of people love my league, but a lot of people want online association. Yep. Is there anything you can give the online association fans right here, right now? We know it's a very hardcore community. We know that people love uh, the old gen leagues. We know what elements that they like. The telemetry shows us that kind of stuff. So we really are, are gonna try to aim to please as many people as we can throughout our modes. It's not just th that one, but we get that there is a very core community that loves that mode, so. Um, All right, now last question is yeah. about my career. 
Now we all know about Spike Lee. I'm sitting here looking at a billboard yes, of this sir. guy right now. Yep. We know that hashtag be the story is the campaign for this year. Now, other than Spike Lee building a storyline that everybody should love, what anticipation can us fans have for face scanning? For face scanning. Yes. Uh, so I mean, it's the second year of face scanning. Uh, we we learned a lot from the first year, uh, and I, I think that there's going to be a, a lot of just improvements. I talked to the dev team about doing some crazy stuff, and there's always ideas that are kicking around that you know we get from a mixture from the community, a, a lot of really smart people that work at 2K. But uh, face scanning will we will, are going to continue to enhance. The, the ability for us to do it on console and do it really well using the, the camera that's in place, I mean, when it worked, it was amazing. When it didn't work, it could be horrible. So now what we need to do is do less of these horrible ones and, and, and round it out a little bit. So Now, I do notice that uh, you guys are partnered with PlayStation for NBA 2K15. Would that be the same story for NBA 2K16? Uh, there's nothing really to report there. Uh, you know, we... I think there's going to be much more of an emphasis on, on working with both platforms, but at the end of the day, it's just a label, right? Like, you just start that splash screen, and um, the, uh, there was a lot of conspiracies about, like, VC sales be showing favoritism to one versus another. That's sort of actually out of our control. Like, we work, we work out of, um, you know, their schedules. Those bill, like, three weeks in advance. We got to do it when, when they can do it. And we try to make it as mutual as possible, patches, all that stuff. But it, you know, it's it's a third party that we're working with, and from us, we're just trying to deliver it as fast as we can, right? So like, um, you know, patches are a particular example, right? If a patch is ready for one console, we're not going to tell them to hold up. We just want it to go. So that's where that's where a lot of that comes from. Now, uh, this is a final personal question. Yeah, that's a, you said from a, a final question. Nope, that. from a from a fan of my part in a wreck. What do you have to say to these demigod bastards making 7-2 point guards? I'm coming for you. All right, you guys, this is IKC signing out. Ronnie, any final words? No, you know, I'm really excited about 16. I think it's going to be uh, really incredible. And it's just going to be the robusting of every single mode that people love. Um, uh, we're just going to blow people away. It's just a few more months. And pre-order, four days early. you got to get it. Gotta get it. All right, you guys. We're going to holler at you, man. Peace.